Rangers secure off three points against Kelly, but after seeing that midfield that was uh, announced, you know, Kamara, Lundstrom, and uh, what the fuck who was the other guy in the midfield? Arfield, I fucking near forgot his name, man. Jesus Christ, but it gave us fears. It gave us sideways fears, but I tell you what, for about the first 20 minutes in this game, Kelly had Rangers on the ropes. Almost score from a corner with Ash Taylor, and then straight after it, Stokes scores to make it 1-0 for Kelly. You know what? Totally justified. They could have potentially made it 2. Rangers not really doing an awful lot, but then we actually get, like, really good work for Sakala. Whips a ball in. Morelos. It was, like, one of the more simple goals that Morelos has scored, which seems like in a very long time. It feels like goals that he scored recently, or, you know... Since the eve, I'd say before his injury last season, they've been like tappings or like really shitty headers or something. But tell you what, he took this really well. Bottom left hand. I mean, he should score it. It's not like holy, how how how's he scored that? You know, he scored that. Boom, boom, boom. Good finish. All that. But Kelly, kind of disheartened by this, didn't really create an awful lot. And by the way, the first goal for for Kelly for Stokes, it was pretty shite for McLaughlin. Everybody's saying it. If McCrory can't get a game right now, when's he going to get a game? You know, like seriously, when is he going to get a game? Morelos gets booked here. I don't think there was much in this, to be honest, but, you know, nothing came yet. Also, Armstrong gets booked for uh, Kelly. Keep a note on that. And, you know, at half time, probably, course of that half, you'd probably say maybe Kelly edged it, but we're just glad for the simple fact that it is... Um, one each at this point. I'll tell you, Palace, United one each, Ten Hag in the mud. But Rangers, end of the second half, Ryan Kent, Morelos finds him, so Morelos gets two goals and an assist, very good game for him, but he finds Ryan Kent, bottom left-hand corner for Kent. Kent has been unplayable under Beal, and it just shows you that Gio was holding him back in about, I don't know, the shackles, man, He's he's been let go of the shackles, the horseshoe is free, I mean, even Barisic, man, Barisic is, gets his ninth assist of the season. For some reason, they're not crediting Barisic with an assist here, but I believe this moves him level with uh, O'Reilly. But again, O'Reilly, not O'Reilly, Barisic, you know, he's not been that... I mean, it was like the only good cross he hit in the entire game. The entire game was filled with crosses that were just completely overhit. Even when it... For a corner, for a throw in, I'll just get easily intercept it. Um, but yeah, the sending off, like, he just elbows Barisic in the chin. So, of course, he's going to get a second yellow. I mean, like, it's a clear attempt to elbow him, so therefore it should be a straight red. But Clancy's like, nah, I'll get a yellow. So he gets a second yellow. Armstrong is sent off. Morelos makes it 3 1 with the, uh, the header, easy enough header. And then at this point, it's 3-1. They're down to 10 men. Realistically, how do you lose this game? But then, long ball forward, ball flick down, right, cracks in the folly. Keeper, McLaughlin, not at fault here. No one's at fault. It's just like, good goal. You can't really complain too much about it. You could argue maybe the game should have been out of sight at this point. Uh, Tillman, though, he was brilliant. Flicks a ball to Arfield. Should score. Then he skins a few people himself. Should score, but it's a pretty good save for Watkins, the goalie. And then, aye, we see the game out. It finishes 3-2. Lafferty had a shot for distance. It almost went in, but Rangers win. Gap still at nine points, of course. Celtic beat St Mirren. Check out Folk Football for all the other games. But aye, Hearts defeat Aberdeen 5-0, which I think spells the end of Jim Goodwin. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Check out all the other videos. And until next time, peace.